a The Ludic Conspiracy by Oliver Poch. Okay, so um, if you like your mystery, historical fiction kind of thing, um, this is a book to look into. Um, because it's about this, like, antique bookseller who comes across this diary, um, of a gentleman who had worked with King Ludwig II of Bavaria. Um, and it's, like, um, an encoded diary, so has to find, um, ways to decode it. Um, so he, um, teams up with um, this art detective named Sarah um, to like help him um, like go to these castle, go to the um, his castles and, um, to break um, this mystery. Um, and like um, it's more than just try them trying to decode this mystery. Um, like, at the start, he is framed for this murder, um, and he's got, um, this, um, Lancelot character and this king, um, that are after him, after, not just, well, the diary more than him, and, um, he's got, like, other people trying to get to him, um, more of the diary than, um, to him, but, um, he's risking a lot. Um, so, um, I like the quote that they, yes, in here, um, it's by Voltaire. History is the lie that is commonly agreed upon. Um, so, um, this quote kind of goes into the whole story of, um, the mystery and secrecy of Ludwig and what he kind of, um, shows. Because, like, if you debunk the mystery and, the mystery and secrets, it's not going to be as attractive once you know the truth. Um, so... There's, um, there's a map of the castles, um, where they are in Bavaria. Um, map of Lindohof. Here, Mishi. That's uh, Nuschfastein. Um, so you got, um, historical characters. Um, he's got a few introductory words, um, ending in, that is the official version of, um, the night he, um, the days and night leading up to his death. Um. So, good. Um, the prologue and epilogue are pretty good, too. <laughs> or it wouldn't have made the book. Um, the Crowd Men. Um, make an appearance. Um, those are the other um, people that I mentioned earlier. Um... In his afterward, he um, says that there is no historical evidence um, of the character Theodore Amora, who um, is the diary that um, he gets a hold of. Um, but it makes an interesting story of um, what makes this um, story possible. Um, but 
there was a uh, Dr. Max um, Schlees von Lowenfield. Um, he was indeed um, personal physician to the king, and according to art historian um, Fickman, wrote a diary in which he described the murder of um, Ludwig II. So, um, by having it as um, a person below the doctor makes it a little more inter interesting. Um, uh, he has a little glossary for con for conspiracy theorists. So, um, there's that, um, the author, um, was a radio personality in um, Bavaria, a screenwriter for Bavarian television, um, and he had, um, other books, um, called The Hangling's Daughter, sold more than half a million copies in English. So, um, him being Bavarian, you can, um, um, see some points where you say, I can say, maybe he's not leaning in this direction, but he is saying that like, as um, you can see, um, in the beginning, um, in his introductory words, you can tell he's not believing the official version of, um, Ludwig's death. Um, and, like, if you read a few articles, like I have, um, you know Ludwig was a good swimmer. Um, and there was no, um, water in his lungs, but, um, but that is the official version, um, that is set by his family that he did commit suicide in that, in the lake. Um. Yeah, um, so, um, I'm going to leave it at that, um, so, um, Uh, the Ludwig Conspiracy, the novel, by Oliver Hodge. And he's like, look at that. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, and, as you can see, I tagged, like, the the second half of this book of stuff that I've liked. So, um, not gonna waste any more time. If you like, um, Ludwig, if you like, um, monarchy type stuff, um, historical type stuff, there's something to look into. Happy readings. <laughs>